All right, Shalom, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Wakar, Kodash. I want to say double honors to the apostles and the bishop elders of Great Millstone for teaching us this word in truth and sincerity and for ruling well. And salutations to my fellow Akim, the hopeful elect, the 144,000, along with the mixed multitude of men, women, and children who also believe in the name of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, and fear and reverence their name. Hey, I'm the brother Gabar Yahawada from GMS Hawaii again. Uh, I'm going to make this quick and short. Um, I was watching this video that I just did. Apostle Tohar had um, responded to the video on his page. The title of the, the video that I did was uh, IUIC or Anti Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Now, I was just looking at the commentary on Antichrist or Anti Hamashiach, right? And I want, I want to bring you, I want to read it to you because it, it says a lot from the apostles and the eventual elders. We, we learned the same thing. When people believe, when people hear the word antichrist, you is is what they, their understanding of what an antichrist is or anti hamashiach is, is, is basically comes from pop culture. All right. It doesn't come from biblical understanding. All right. That's why most Christians, they'll say, oh, the, they're waiting for an antichrist to come show up this random person to come showed up show up and to this guy all these people are going to basically flock to and that's not the case so this is from david guzik um commentary on first john 2 the whole chapter 2 and it's just verse 18 i'm gonna start at uh right here yeah verse 18 i'm gonna read it right here it says uh this is an attack on a, on our relationship with the most High. And false religions. This is the danger of false religion, the spirit of Antichrist. And you know, these different Israelite groups that don't teach the 100% truth, they're just false religions. They're a facade of what we as Israelites are supposed to be and what we're supposed to do. They have that likeness of an Israelite, but they're not really one in the inside. So it says, Little children, it is the last hour, and as you have heard that antichrist is coming even now many antichrists have come by which we know that it is the last hour they went out from us but they were not of us for if they had been of us they would have continued with us but they went out that they might be made manifest that none of them were of us it says right here this is a um, breakdown in the commentary little children it is the last hour. John lived in the constant expectancy of Yahweh Shai's return, regarding his time as the last hour. This is an expectancy that we should also have, knowing that the Lord's return can come at any time. That's right. And that's why you're supposed to be prepared. And you're supposed to be in fear. It says, seeing the nature of our times and what the Bible says about the end times, we should regard ourselves as being in the last few minutes. Right, we're not here to make an everlasting life down here because Yahweh Shah is coming to judge this place. Even back then, John was in that mindset, and we're supposed to be in that same mindset too, even more in this time. It says, um, B, it says the Antichrist is coming. John here, John here refers to an individual who has captured the imagination of many people, including those who don't even know the Bible. And Nate would be a prime example of an antichrist, right? He would be a person that is against the Messiah, but he he was able to capture the imagination of many people, including those who don't know the Bible. Like in this uh this video right here, these um Israelites that are in IUIC, they don't really know the Bible. From the simplest things to name of names of prophets the messiah the heavenly father most importantly they don't even know that you know so how could you expect that these people know the truth of the bible but wicked men like nate they have been able to capture the imagination of people who don't know the bible right here it says again it says it says um John refers to an, an individual who has captured the imagination of many people, including those who don't even know the Bible. Many are ignorant about the person called the Antichrist, except what they have learned from the movies like The Omen. 
The name Antichrist is important to understand the prefix. Anti can mean the opposite of or instead of. Uh, Antichrist is the opposite Yahweh Shai. He is instead, he is the instead of Yahweh Shai. Most people have focused on the idea of the opposite Jesus. This has made them think that the Antichrist will appear as a supreme evil person. They think that as much as Yahweh Shai went around doing good, the Antichrist will go around doing bad. As much as Yahweh Shai's character and personality was beautiful and attractive, the the, art, the Antichrist character and personality will be ugly and repulsive. As much as Yahweh Shai spoke only truth, the Antichrist will speak only lies. This emphasizes the idea of the opposite Yahweh Shai too much. The Antichrist will instead be more of an instead of Yahweh Shai. He will look wonderful, be charming, and successful. He will be the ultimate winner and appear as an angel of light. Well, that's what Satan does, and that's what Esau does. Some have wondered if the Antichrist will be an individual or political system. This is really a small distinction because it will, in a sense, be both a person and political system. Well, the political system that we're in, that we live in, is anti Hamashiach. Everything that the system, Edomite system, uh, purports or perpetrates is against the law. It's against the Heavenly Father. It's against Yahweh Shah. All right? It's not just a person, but then you also got people that exhibit these same traits. All right? Like starting with Esau, Edom, and then these false prophets and preachers, they, they also do the same thing. It says it will be a sense of both a person and a political system. To a large extent, a man does represent and personify an entire government or system. When we think of Germany, 1930s and 40s, these figures of Hitler and individuals, Nazi Germany, and as a state or virtually the same, the Antichrist is an individual, but he will also be associated with a powerful government, which the Antichrist, again, is not just an individual, right? He's already, they're, they're, they're people. They're Israelites that don't believe in the Lord. It says the Antichrist is coming even now. Many Antichrists have come. There is a distinction between the Antichrist and many Antichrists. There is a there is a spirit of anti Hamashiachs and a spirit of anti Hamashiach will one day find its ultimate fulfillment in the Antichrist, who will lead humanity to the end times rebellion against the Most High. Well, they already doing it. In other words. Though the world still waits to see the ultimate revealing of Antichrist, there are little previews of this man and his mission to come. These are the Antichrist with a little instead of a capital A, by which now we know that it is the last hour. So, you know, obviously David Guzik, he's not a man of the Lord, so obviously he's going to go off in his, his distinction. But the point of the matter is, is that... Um, I'll read this again because I thought it was better. And prefix B, where it says, John refers to an individual who has captured the imagination of many people, including those who don't even know the Bible. Many are ignorant of the person called the, the anti Mashiach. And right, and you have individual Israelites who are able to capture the mind of the simple, who don't know the Bible, so they give them their version or their breakdowns of it. And these people believe it to the point where, like, actually, they have the same mindset as that individual, which they're against the Lord. That's why these groups don't take the Lord's name seriously. They don't take the Heavenly Father and His name seriously. They don't take the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son and His name seriously. It's an afterthought for these people, right? And so, what they do, they exhibit behavior that's against the Lord. They don't believe that. Yahweh Shai is the Messiah. These people might even see it if they're still alive, but they ain't going to believe it, right? Right? Because they're so against the Lord and his people. And, and you show you're against the Heavenly Father and his Son by your deeds, by your actions, okay? By your, uh, your mindset. Hey, how you come against his prophet, the men that he set up, all right? And so I just wanted to bring that out. This has been the commentary on Antichrist. You know, um, I hope you're edified with that. Say shalom.